Hello everyone, this is Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you with an explanation video. We're going to be looking at one of the most interesting lashups I caught recently on the CSX A line. This is CSX Q41624 with CSX ET4040H number 3347 leading the way, CSX GP38 Road Slug number 2333, GP40 2 number 6428, and Mid Train DPU. CSX ES4040H number 850. Four units on the train, but technically three. But we're going to be looking at the distributed power units of what they are and how they are a vital part in railroad operations. Most of the time you see locomotives like these on the head end. But if the train is so massive, what else there needs to be done? Well, they throw on one of these units. It's called a DPU or distributed power unit. A distributed power unit is distributed throughout the train to provide the train with extra horsepower to pull the train up and down mountain passes and also trying to keep the train up to speed. You see DPUs on the back when they're pushing the train and sometimes in the middle where they're pushing one half of the train and pulling the other half. But now, how does this unit receive the command from 3347? Well, 3347, as you see, is the lead locomotive. Our antenna is located on top of all the locomotives, except the slug. The slug is dead weight. It has no prime mover and no diesel fuel. It has traction motors and electrical components and receives its power from the GP40-2. That's why it's called a slug set. So, when 3347 is throttling up notches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, the locomotive will receive the command by radio through the antennas to tell the locomotive, hey, we're going up in the notch 6. When you put the locomotive in notch 6 on the lead, then all the other engines will be in notch 6. If the locomotive slows down, that means everything else will drop. If the locomotive is stopped, if the whole train is slowing down coming to a stop, by radio command, it will tell all the other locomotives in the lash hub to slow down. So, DPUs are vital, and plus, you see a lot of these, and I was very fortunate to get one of these. So, it's all been received by electrical radio commands when it, the train speeds up, slows down, or even comes to a dead stop. Now, they can run this locomotive with another crew in it, but everything is done through the head end of the train. So in this case, get back. 3347 is telling everything, is telling all the other locomotives where to, where to throttle up. Now you see, 2333 has no air intake whatsoever. It's just been modified to a slug to pair with the GB40-2. I do a complete video on this, but I thought I would note that real quick. But Excuse for the other pictures, but this is the mid train DPU. It wasn't exactly halfway, and sometimes they may just call it a pusher. Now, a rear DPU will push the train. Now, is a DPU different than a helper set? It mounts to the same thing, but a helper set has an additional crew that runs the locomotives independently. Now, a rear DPU will receive the commands by radio antennas. Whereas a helper crew receives the command from a crew running those two locomotives. A prime example is Altoona PA on Horseshoe Curve on the, on the old Pennsylvania main line. That's a good place where you can see helpers shove trains up the mountain and the helper locomotives will come down the mountain once they uh, push a train up. Mid-train DPUs, you see these now a lot on CSX to distribute the power evenly throughout the train. And you'll see some pushers on Norfolk Southern on, in my area, but it's not very common. But on the A-line, you're seeing a lot more of these uh, with some of the heavier freight trains like 416, 415. Um, Q031 is doing it as well, and I'm sure 032 is doing the same thing. But 416 and 031 had middle distributed power units in there, but of uh, Q416... Um, was a really good one to actually look at this example. So, in summary, distributed power units are vital by receiving the remote control antennas here. By receiving these commands, the locomotive, the head locomotive will tell the 850 what not to throw up in, as well as the 6428. So, um, so not only is 3347 commanding itself, it's commanding all the other locomotives in the lash up. 
So anyway, I thought I would do about a few minute explanation on how all of this works. I hope you all enjoyed this locomotive uh, explanation. If you have any further questions about DPU specifically, please leave me a comment in the description box. Thank you all for watching. I'm Engineer Pat 5290, and I will see you on the next rail adventure. Be safe, guys.